At this time, ladies and gentlemen, we of Northfield Park would like to acknowledge those of you throughout the United States and Canada at tracks and off-track betting outlets joining us for tonight's Battle of Lake Erie via simulcast. This is our 10th annual War on the Shore over the flying turns here at Northfield Park. Our Parade Marshal Aaron Irvin brings the battlefield postward. He carries a lifetime 150 and 1 earnings over 466,000. All by Craig Lipka, the MJG Racing Stables Incorporated, and Richard Lerner. Trained by Luca Derrico, driven by David Polo. Number one is Alan Glow. He carries earnings over $302,000, a lifetime best 52 and 4. On by Marcus M. Ernst of Bloomfield Hills, Michigan. Trained and driven by Keith Crawford, number two, vacationing. On by the Peter Pan Stables Incorporated of Pepper Pike, Ohio. His lifetime mark is a 153 earnings over 595,000. Trained by Noel Daly, driven by Hervé Fleon, number three is Broadway Jake. His lifetime mark is a 150, one and one. Earnings over 169,000. All by Tanya F. and Ted D. Parker, Elyria, Ohio. Trained by Greg McNair and driven by Joe Essig, Jr. Four is Lusty Leader. His lifetime mark is a 53 and two. Earnings over 169,000. All by John Leahy and William Blessing, both of Illinois. Trained and driven by Joe Anderson. Five is next bonus day. On by the Village Jiffy Syndicate, Inglewood, Ontario. Earnings over $1,210,000, a lifetime mark of 51 and four. Trained by William Wellwood, driven by Paul McDonnell. Number six is Village Jiffy. His lifetime mark, 152 and two. Earnings over 347,000. On by Ray Schnitker, The Seal Stable, Kelks Incorporated, and Joseph Glensky. As trained and driven by Ray Schnitker, number seven, Calypso Beat. And completing the 1995 battlefield, all by R. Peter Heffering, Edward H. Lohmeyer, John Stoddard, and John Van Kirk. He has earnings nearing $2 million, a lifetime best of 150 and four. Trained by William Robinson, driven tonight by Jack Moisev. Number eight is Pacific Rocket. There you have the starting field for the 10th annual War on the Shore, the Battle of Lake Erie. Wager right now. They are at the post. And here they come for the 10th annual War on the Shore. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Battle of Lake Erie. Ready, aim, fire! They're off and pacing, and it's Village Jiffy going for the lead right alongside on the outside is Pacific Rocket. And the clubhouse turn. There goes Island Glow up along the rail. And around the turn they go, Alan Glow moves right out a length and a half, Village Jiffy second. The Rocket outside, Pacific Rocket is third, vacationing away fourth. As Broadway Jade fifth, in there sixth is a lusty leader. Then comes next bonus A in the trailer, Calypso beat. They go roaring down to the quarter mile mark of the race. At the rail, Alan Glow can't hold it on the outside, Pacific Rocket takes over in 26 and three fifths. On that far turn the first time, Village Jiffy racing third a length and a quarter, vacationing fourth. Broadway Jade fifth, Lusty Leader outside is sixth, then comes next bonus A, and Calypso beat. They swing into the lane and start to the halfway point of the race, and bring them down past the stands, it's Pacific Rocket out there a length and a half, Island Glow lurking second, now Steli moving on the outside, here comes Broadway Jade, also moving on the outside, Lusty Leader with next bonus A, the half, 56 and one fifth seconds. They hit that clubhouse, turn their double tiered for front to back. In and out of the turn they go on her payoff, half mile. And up on top, it's the Rocket. Pacific Rocket and Jack Moisea, they've got it a length and a half. On the outside comes Hervé with Broadway Jade along the rail, battling back Island Glow. On the outside, Lusty Leader and Jody Essig is fourth. In along the rail, Village Jeffy. The next, next bonus A, vacationing in the trailer, Calypso Beat. They're at the three-quarter mile mark of the race. They trip that beam and won 25 and one. On the turn, they're coming home in a battle Lake Erie and a battle for the lead. Pacific Rocket at the rail on the outside, Broadway Jate. And now here comes Lusty Leader on the outside.
It's Alan Glow along the rail. There at the top of Heartbreak Lane in that long drive for the wire. Pacific Rocket bringing him down. Has that lead a half. Up the middle of the track. Here comes Lusty Leader. It's Lusty Leader and Jody Essing. They will take the battle tonight in 154. Lusty Leader, owned by Tonya and Ted Parker of O'Leary, Ohio, takes the 1995 War on the Shore, the Battle of Lake Erie. The photo sign is up, hold all tickets until the result is posted and official. Joe Essig Jr., uh, here you are in a race with Jack Moise of Hervé Filion, national drivers all over the place, besides the people in Ohio, not that many people know who you are. Well, that's, that's a thing of the past. <laughs> Hopefully. Congratulations, Joe Essig Jr. and Lusty Leader. Not the fastest battle ever, but the most exciting. Local boy makes good right here at Northfield with local horse. I gotta have a quick word right now with Tanya Parker, one of the winning owners. Tanya. Yeah, give, give him the whip, Jody, let him have it. <clears throat> I lost my voice cheering for your horse. You should be happy. Tanya Parker with me in the winner's circle, Tanya. You, you bought this horse for $3,000, 3,000. He made 50,000 tonight. I can't, well. It's been a long road and a lot of vet bills, and we've really tried hard for him, and it's really paid off. It's every horseman's dream come true, especially, you know, you guys, you're not dealing with horses that you pay $200,000 for. A $3,000 claimer is the cheapest we have out here, and that's what you picked this horse up for. Now you're in the winner's circle to battle Lake Erie. It feels great, especially here in Ohio. All right, congratulations once again to the Parkers, Joe Essick Jr., and all the connections of Lusty Leader for a great race.